All right, I'm back out here today. The other day, I uh, set up these paddocks. Um, kind of wanted to think on it for a day or two to see if I, what I felt about the size. Brought my wife out here and uh, we walked it. I think we're gonna make them come further out, which is perfectly fine. We have more than enough space. Um, so uh, that'll be cool. But today, I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Today, right now, I'm gonna try to set up the two wire system for these pigs to see if I can get them trained. Um, which will require me to work in there with them, which is fine. They're, they're all really well behaved pigs, really gentle. Um, so I'm gonna figure out the spacing I wanna do. I'll probably do it just the same height as uh, this netting right now, cause that works out well. And I'll do one up top and one about halfway down. And then uh, we'll fire it up and see what they think. All right, so I'm gonna be using these uh, the wire clips. I have some plastic ones too, but I just wanna try these ones out. They kind of, you know, pinch on, slide down. Then you hook the wire up to that. Um, I did turn this fence off so I don't, you know, bump into it. So we'll get these, uh, get these set up. Once it's live. The um the plastic ones seem like they're a little more bit more secure to the actual pole, but I mean they shouldn't be rubbing on it since they'll be live. So we got all the connectors on there and we'll grab the, uh, the line I'm going to use and uh, I need to grab this crate to rest it on so it doesn't ground out. But uh, yeah, I think, I think this will work out well. Um, and then once we get these done, that'll be nice. See if I can get them in here if they're, they end up having piglets. I'll set one of these up with uh, some of that netting so that uh, little piglets can't get out. Oh, why did I park so far away? Okay. I'm gonna set you guys down here. I'm going to run this wire all the way around.
All right, well, that wasn't long enough, so I'm gonna go get another piece of twine that I have. Hopefully that one's long enough. And we're gonna do it all over again. It'll be so, just a second. And we're back with uh, the right rule, roll. Hopefully, so. Here goes again. Now, I'm no expert in this fencing. It's the first time I've ever used it. In fact, I consider myself pretty new to everything homestead related. Um, I did not grow up on a farm or on a homestead or with pigs or with chickens. Um, I've just done a bunch of research uh, along with my wife and uh, we were just kind of drawn to this lifestyle and that's why we ended up starting with a two acre property out in Alabama as we wanted to see see what it was like and uh, we ended up loving it and moved on to this 10 acre property and, and uh, we got some we got some big plans for it so but first let's get this fence up You're gonna be in for a rude awakening when you uh, bite it and it shocks you. Like I said, this is all new to me, so I got it. I had to use both strands. I didn't have a long enough piece, single piece, um, and it's kind of drooping. I know these are a little bit further apart. Thought maybe I could get away with it, but I do have some of like the step in, like plastic posts, so I'll get those, put them in between, and then jumper cable them together to flick it on and see what happens. I'm gonna have to figure out. Then to put these on so they don't ground out on the ground. All right, I got my other posts. I'm gonna get them in and hopefully get this thing fired up pretty soon. So, here we go. All right, I'm back out here after lunch. Uh, did a little research, just because I wasn't happy with the way these corners were folding in, and I guess I needed to drive the posts in a little bit further, so I did whip up a little post pounder. So it's just a piece of black pipe with a K 
cap on it. I don't know how long this is, 30 inches. And I've just been using this to pound the posts in further. And it seems to be holding up a little bit better, so. So the next I'm gonna end up up here and I'm gonna work on getting these paddocks extended out. And uh, once I get that done, I think I'm probably gonna call it quits for today. So here we go. Uh, I got the paddock set up. They're, I think, a little over 2,000 square feet. Um, if my math does me right, of multiplying two numbers together. Um, so that should be plenty big with us moving them, you know, I don't know, maybe a couple times a week or maybe once a week. I'd love to see how the land holds up. Um, like I said, it's all. It's all new to me, um, but we'll, we've been using the Premier One stuff and moving them around for about two and a half years at this point, um, and that's been working well. Um, but I think this should really, really work out nicely. Um, so yeah, this is uh, starting to come along. So, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, I'm gonna go hang out with the wife for the rest of the night. So you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching. Do that in reverse order. I'll see ya.